A variety of assessments to appeal to various learning styles are included in this art history class, which allows the students to demonstrate their proficiency in various ways. I invite you to explore some of the assessments I have constructed for this class. I'm interested in maximizing student success and performance. One way to accomplish this is to provide tutorials during the first week of class, which explains in both a written and visual format how students should approach specific assignments. For instance, many students do not feel comfortable giving or receiving a critique, so I include some resources for students to review. After the students review the tutorials, they are required to complete a reflective survey discussing what they feel their strengths and weaknesses are. I can then address any student concerns and offer additional assistance at the onset of the course. Each learning module has a consistent format. The course has four overarching learning objectives, while each week contains two to three specific learning objectives. Assessments are developed to evaluate a student's mastery of each objective. I use the authentic assessment technique for the majority of evaluations in my classes. For example, week two learning module contains the following. A reflective exercise on the reading and video materials. These reflective exercises are not the traditional summative or formative quizzes for readings. These journal exercises create an instructor-student interaction for which I can give motivational feedback to each student and encourage higher critical thinking skills. A compare and contrast exercise develops the higher critical thinking skills, which is a course as well as a learning unit goal. Students can respond in a variety of formats, including written, video, or audio. This not only encourages creativity, but is a more inclusive approach. International students or students with specific accommodation needs can respond in the format which is best suited to them. The share and image exercise requires students to research and properly cite a contemporary image which was influenced by cave paintings. This exercise is perfect for visual learners to actually see the interrelatedness of art across history. All of these assignments have a corresponding rubric available in the My Grades Center. The analytical rubrics contain a mix of both objective and subjective evaluation criteria. Marked rubrics and specific feedback are given for each assignment. 